Hello everybody and welcome back. So after the last video I did manage to get fuel. I did not rest. There is a very particular reason that I did not rest. Remember the trip that we said we wanted to do to Minnesota. If I would have rested it would have disappeared. It would no longer have been an available trip for us and I did not want that because it was the only trip that we had to Minnesota and I wasn't willing to risk not being able to go to Minnesota because again that is the goal is to make it to Minnesota so we have our trailer now connected this is the trip that's going to Minnesota as it shows right there we have Walmart stores yogurt hmm lots of it so we are taking that one up we have a Walmart store in Minneapolis I wonder if that one is the one that is right off of St. Anthony or University University I think it would be for Minneapolis other than that you'd be down in Bloomington or you could be out in Maple Grove Brooklyn Center um, let me see what other places in the metro actually have that And of course, everyone wants to drive down this road now. So we're going to cut that red truck off. He's not going to be happy about it, but who cares? I was still on my side of the road. He was on my side. That's what we're going to say. Yes, we got another fight. Because we can't seem to ever get away from fights. And then I'm trying to speed again. I, I think I honestly have a lead foot. I think my foot is too heavy for these pedals. Yeah, foot is too heavy. But it looks like we are going to get on to 35, I believe, from Des Moines. It should be a straight shot straight up there. It is 226 miles till we get there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do a time lapse for this. So that way we can get there a little bit better and we don't have a long video. Not sure how long the last one's going to be. I am trying to pre-record a few of them due to the fact that if you remember from video the last, not the last one, but I think believe it was the one before that, I am almost done with that 18 speed shifter. So I want to get a couple of these pre-recorded. That way I can start working on that, try to get that taken care of all week without having to worry about trying to record more of these videos so that way I can put them out on the regular basis. So I want to be able to have them pre-done and get them ready to actually be published. That way you guys can keep on watching these videos as I am finishing up getting that made and then getting all my tests taken care of and making sure everything get works to prior to bringing you guys back. So what I'm going to do is we are getting on to that freeway now. We will go ahead and start that time lapse as soon as we get on there. And that way, you guys can enjoy a little bit of music and the scenery of Des Moines. But it looks like it's hard getting up that hill right now. Don't know what we just hit there. No damage happened. No damage set up. Let's see if this truck, he's not going to let us in. After this one? Maybe? No, there's another one there. Oh, there we go. He's going to let us in. Though I'm not sure if this is going to two lanes or not. But we will go ahead and start that time lapse. So you guys enjoy the music, and we will see you when we get a little closer to Minneapolis.
However, we are now in Minnesota. Just past that rest area, I'm guessing, where the graphics changed of the actual road. That was the significance to say, hey, guess what? You are now in Minnesota. There was no sign. There is actually a really big sign. It's made out of stone. It says, welcome to Minnesota. So I'm not sure why that wasn't there. Oh, looky here. There's the sign that says, welcome to Minnesota. So we have now made it to Minnesota. And coming up here, this is the 90s. So this is Albert Lee, which Albert Lee, technically, I, my opinion, this should have had a actual destination on it, okay? This should have actually been a town in there due to the fact that there is a really big truck stop right at this uh, 9035 interchange. So there is a big place right there. And then there's also a uh, meat processing. So like a big like industrial butcher area. There's that down there and stuff like that. So there is a lot down there that you can actually do. There's a Walmart as well. So they could do Walmart deliveries. There's Walgreens, so they could have those. The butcher, that could have actually been a pickup to be able to take frozen meats. So a reefer, you could have needed that. Plus the rest area right there, you know, there's a lot down there that they could have actually done on there. Because it is the first big town that you come to when you enter Minnesota from the south. So if you're going northbound on 35, you will get there. Another thing that I did notice is when you get up closer to Minneapolis, 35 does not go through Minneapolis. Well, it sort of does. It's not called 35. It's 35W and 35E. 35W goes through Minneapolis. 35E goes through St. Paul. What they did is when you get to uh, Burnsville, they split 35, one that goes on an easterly track, one that goes on a westerly track, hence the 35E and the 35W. Now they split, they go to each one of those, then when you get up to Forest Lake, that's on the north side of the cities, that's when they come back together and they become 35 again. But all the way through the cities, it is 35W and 35E. A couple of other big ones that are out here, is there is 94 that cuts all the way through downtown Minneapolis and it cuts through downtown St. Paul. Now with that, there's also 694 and, three, and uh, 494. Those are the loop around the city. So if you don't wanna go through Minneapolis or St. Paul, you can take one of those to go around the cities. So that is another option that they add there. Now I do know this is 120th scale, so every one mile is 20 miles in real life. So it wouldn't have been that easy to do Minneapolis St. Paul, seeing as how there's not even 20 miles between them. So I can totally understand why they didn't add those in there. However, it would have been nice if they would have like scaled it over a little bit and done like a Tacoma and Seattle thing, where they're really close to each other. It's like five game miles but it would have been nice to have both Minneapolis and St. Paul, both of them in there. Because Minneapolis is the big city. That is our biggest city in Minnesota. However, St. Paul is technically the capital for Minnesota. So that's where you have the state capital and all the government buildings are over there. And it looks like they do have the 484 options here. Interesting. I did not know that. 494 towards Fargo, technically it does. It goes all the way up and then gets on 94 and takes that all the way up there. Let's see. Yep, they have 494 and 694. They do have it. Nice. They just didn't split 35. That's the only one they didn't do. Now I'm interested to see what they did with Minneapolis. Because there, there are some pretty big things in Minneapolis to actually be able to put in something. So we have the First Avenue Bridge, we have the Stone Arch Bridge, we have the 35W Bridge, He's stuff right. like that, because we go over Exit. the right. Minnesota and the Mississippi River around here. So it is one of those things. Now this 55 mile an hour zone, that's not actually true. It's 60. 
and I've never seen an off ramp right. that has a uh, speed limit sign on it. I've never seen one. Now 35 right here, yeah I could believe that. Usually they just don't have a speed limit sign on most of these roads. Some of them they do, some of them they don't. Now that oil processing, yeah, that looks like right. it would have been in St. Paul, just south of St. Paul, it's by Mendota Heights. That would have been where that would actually Turn be because right. we do have one over there. Now, oh, donuts, gotta have the donuts, gotta love the little pop-up shop donuts. This is where it ends. And it looks like we're going right next to there. You know what, we're gonna do this a little bit differently. And just like for the targets, I've never seen a Walmart this small before. Because remember, we are dropping off at Walmart. Let's go ahead. It looks like our tires are back there, right? So let's go ahead. We're going to start backing up here. Use the mirror because apparently my tracker does not want to go that far. Nope, it doesn't want to. So let's go ahead and see if we can do this through the mirrors. Oh, we're just shy. Or just shy. We're gonna push it a little bit. It's hard to see when you're not able to use your head. Cause yep, it's still not letting us. Almost jackknife. We're not gonna pull a jackknife. So now, go like this. Yes, I probably sh would have done easier just going the other way instead of trying to tip back around this whole building. Let's try to get back in there now. Not really liking this blind side look right here. I want to skip the delivery. You know, I'm not happy with that. With that, let's go ahead and get this right. If you're not going to do it right, what's the point in doing it? Looks a lot better now. There we go. And we got that delivery done. We are in Minneapolis. 
our goal of making it to Minnesota has come true. We got 458 experience for that one. And that does end off our drive for today. Again, no level. However, we are building that money up and we are getting a little bit more experience every time. So again, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my future content, go ahead and hit that notification button and it'll let you know exactly when I put out another video. Uh, and that drive safe and we will see you next time.